Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. My name is Bethany Palco and I am a member of Mainland Baptist Church and a part of our Connects College and Career group here at the church. This morning our devotion is entitled, The Heart Matters Most, and we're going to be reading from Matthew chapter 22 verses 35 through 40. So if you have your Bible, I invite you to turn to Matthew 22. And the verses say, Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Now this question that the lawyer asked was not a question coming from an honest heart. It wasn't seeking truth or information. Instead, the lawyer's question was designed to be a trap, um, forcing Jesus to say something that could be later used by his enemies. But even though that was the background for the question, Jesus still gave a very straightforward and truthful response. God comes first and we must love him above all else. Others come next, and we must love them as we love ourselves. This proper love provides the foundation for everything else in life. All that Jesus has commanded us to do springs from these two directives, and both of them are focused on our hearts. So going back ever since Cain, going back to the Old Testament, um, when Cain brought the wrong kind of offering, people have been trying to substitute other things for their love for God and obedience that springs from a heart devoted to him. Isaac Watts said, The great God values not service of men if the heart be not in it. The Lord sees and judges the heart. He has no regard for outward forms of worship, and if there be no inward adoration, if no devout affection be employed therein. It is therefore a matter of infinite importance to have the whole heart engaged steadfastly for God. Men see what's on the outside, but God sees our hearts, our true reason for doing what we do. All efforts to please God without our heart being fully involved fail, no matter how sacrificial they may be. And that reminds me of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, where the Apostle Paul wrote, And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. So today's growth principle is we cannot obey, we cannot please our God unless our hearts are fully devoted to Him. So I hope that that encouraged you this morning like it did me. And let's pray together and ask the Lord to really help us reevaluate why are we doing the things that we do? Is my heart in it or am I just doing it for an outside show? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning. God, I pray that you would go before us today and everything that we think, everything that we do, every um, work that we do, every area of service that we are in, I pray, God, that we would do it with the truest of intentions, that we would do it to bring glory and honor and praise to you and not to ourselves, Lord. And we ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day.